I got to have faith. And, and all these trials and tribulations that I'm going through right now, it's just testing my patience, you know? And as long as I stay patient and wait on the Lord, then I know nothing ever but good will come from it, you know? And that's how I measure my success. It's been one hell of a journey, I can promise you that. You know, being constantly watched and, and, you know, if I'm going to do the right thing or I'm going to go back to, I was making deliveries for dope, you know what I'm saying? Taking people dope to get dope so I could use it or, you know, just smoking dope and doing this and doing that. I was working at this restaurant making deliveries and I was making anywhere from $100 to $300 a night. And I'd take all that money and just blow it on dope and blow it. And I was living out of my car, taking showers on the beach, doing whatever I could do to survive, but still want to smoke dope at the same time. And it just, it destroys your inner being, you know what I'm saying? Your, 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 your soul, your spirit, it just, you're literally just like destroyed and you don't know what to do. And I just, I had to seek help because I couldn't keep living that same life. And I knew, I knew that God did not create me to be a drug addict or an alcoholic in my life. I think I'd be today if I didn't go to compassion. Uh, probably would not, I wouldn't say probably, I definitely would not be sitting in this chair right now. I'd probably be, like I said earlier, dead or in jail somewhere. I, before I came in here, in the last few days, I was measuring success by the amount of material shit that you have, you know? And I realized that it ain't about the material shit. It's not. It's about what you're willing to go through to get where you want. And, you know, to constantly struggle. It says, James 1, verse 2 through 8 says, My brethren, count in all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, so that you may be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. But if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, which is driven and tossed by the wind. You know, I got to have faith. And, and all these trials and tribulations that I'm going through right now, it's just testing my patience. You know, and as long as I stay patient and wait on the Lord, then I know nothing ever but good will come from it, you know. And that's how I measure my success. Now, today, I go to down to the VA in Miami and I help uh, people who have spinal injuries or the elderly that are in wheelchairs that can't help themselves to go to church, you know what I'm saying? And these are the type of things that I do today that I didn't do before, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do the next right thing, trying to do the right thing and help somebody else that can't help themselves. Having almost a year clean and sober, where I feel like I should be, I'm definitely not there. But I know I'm where I need to be at this point of time, I mean, moment in time, you know what I'm saying, where God wants me to be at. And if that's where he wants me to be at, I'm satisfied with that and I'm content with that. And I know as long as I have faith and keep doing the next right thing, he's going to bless me. And I, and I just, I have faith in that, you know, and it's just, just being patient. That's the hardest thing, is being patient and just waiting on Him to, 
to, you know, just to guide me.